All right, I'm gonna show you how to use Fuji Raw X Studio or X Raw Studio to create film recipes on your computer, but you need your camera. So it's a piece of software on your computer, but you need your camera. So I'm gonna show you with the X-H2S, I'm gonna hook up the USB-C and I'm gonna go straight into the USB-C on my Mac Mini. And from there, we'll jump into the software. Open Rock Studio. At the top left, it says waiting for a camera to connect. So I've showed you how I connected my X-H2S. Now I'm just going to turn the power switch on the camera. You'll see now it says X-H2S connected. It shows you I am desperately needing to update my firmware on my camera. These images, so don't be fooled, these images are actually on my hard drive. So I'm gonna to go to this raw file, um, I'm gonna say open folder. And so you can see that I've imported this into Lightroom and I've actually already found these raw files. And you can see that folder structure right here. Now what happens with a raw file is you click on it and then you have all the settings on the right. Um, so you can see I've already saved things like uh, LTD, Mission is a black and white uh, film look uh, southwest. And then my personal favorite right here is Sweet Heat. I just love that. Uh, but you can see all the adjustments here. So I'm going to uh, set this back to uh, custom setting right here, which is just uh, flat. You can see everything. It's Provia, off, 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 uh, auto, white balance. And now here is where you begin to make your tweaks and you can see that you can affect this just by doing the film simulation. If I went to Velvia, you get more saturation. I'm gonna to go to Acros Yellow. You can see how that, uh, immediately you can tell what's happening when you change the film simulation. Nostalgic Neg compared to Classic Neg, you see the shadows are deeper on Classic Neg. Uh, versus nostalgic neg. So you can see a little bit of how the film simulation uh, behaves. So right now I'm gonna go strong grain, uh, small, and I'm just gonna show you how I go in here and I set these all to my favorites. Daylight, uh, actually I'm gonna do shade. Right there, you can see that warms it up a big, big degree so I'm gonna go minus two and on the blue and two on the red and then the highlights I'm gonna protect those you'll see up here it darkens the sky a little bit and shadows I'm actually gonna deepen the shadows so I want that a little punchier I'm gonna increase the color uh, nice saturation on that I'm gonna take down the sharpness one high ISO noise reduction and then clarity I'm gonna leave but if I want it softer I could do like a three it just um, now that that's basically how we've built a film recipe uh, it's pretty similar to sweet heat from my memory uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call save and we call sweet heat from memory it's kind of a cool title and so I have that saved under my user profile so I'm gonna click sweet heat and see if there's any difference Ooh, Sweet Heat actually has more of a um, a blue than an orange. Interesting. So if my memory was, let's see, what did I change here? I did auto white balance instead of uh, shade. So it's interesting. And you could just learn a ton about um, using your Fujifilm uh, built-in film simulations and those exposure controls. All right, thanks for joining.